So listen, I'm moving around and I'm doing a bunch, but I had to make sure before I get ready for bed that I record this video because it's just been too many confirmations throughout this day, just confirming what the Holy Spirit has shown me um, over the past couple days. So the Holy Spirit showed me Haman. The Holy Spirit showed me a slave. The Holy Spirit showed me the selling of us of people the holy spirit showed me anger wrath and that there would be death i'm sorry it's turning dark y'all but yeah i'm moving around but i'm about to be at my car um but the holy spirit showed me locust he even showed me the names of the people who have been attacking me for years um and the the hugest thing is that now people know that their the enemy knows that his time is up because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. <sighs> Y'all. God is not playing, okay? I know it's dark in this car. I'm going to try to get some light. But that's not most important. The most important thing is not seeing my face. The most important thing is that I get this word recorded so that... Um, I'm going to try to get some light, though, because it is super dark. And I don't want it to seem like, you know, y'all listening to darkness watching this video. I may just have to do an overlay. Um, But, yes, the Holy Spirit showed me all of these things and today i have just been busy just um you know doing some different things doing some self-care doing some other things i'm sorry for all this movement but that's not the most important thing y'all i have to get this message out i have to get this word out i have to because this is no man have the power to take your life no man have the power to lay your life down but God, okay? And God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind, okay? God is not playing. God is not playing with us. He not playing with us. It's a time for repentance, y'all. Seriously, if you have done wrong, if we have done wrong, if we have sinned against God, it is time to realign with him. It is time to cry out to him for mercy and deliverance okay i'm saying this because i've had to do it myself all of the arrows that have been thrown at me all of the things that I, even my own weaknesses that the weaknesses of my flesh my rebellion and my disobedience god is not playing with us it's judgment it's wrath he's not playing and for those of us who um you know desire truly desires to please the lord who are choosing god over everything and then the people that are trying to attack us to take us out, those things are going to reverse. And we have to stand boldly and not be walk in fear because we have nothing to fear. Who can harm us? Who can harm us? And that's the thing. They want us to be filled up with fear so that their plan can go into play. But we got to stand and be bold and courageous and say, not by power, by, not by might, but by the spirit of the Lord. We have to lift up, raise up a standard against the enemy. Take it by violence. The violent take it by force in this season. In the name of Jesus. So I just want to pray right now. Father, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for your power, for your might. I thank you for your spirit, oh God. I pray right now for every person, Lord. Your word says that we are to bless those who curse us and pray for those who despitefully use us. So Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you send them a heart of repentance, Lord, by any means necessary. Bring us to a point of humility to where we run to you and say, Father, what must I do to be saved? Lord, change me, Lord. Your word says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, and pray seek my face turn from their wicked ways then you will hear from heaven and you will hear forgive our sins and heal our land father so i cry out to you on behalf of my brother on behalf of my sister on behalf of my mother my father my friends lord god in the name of jesus my loved ones lord even uh, my relationships every single connection that i've had lord god in the body of christ and beyond father i pray for repentance for us all in the mighty name of jesus father i know that you can do anything but fail you can take a hard heart and you can turn it into a, a heart of flesh you've done it for me lord god so i pray that you do it for my neighbor i pray that you do it for my brother i pray that you do it for every choir director i pray that you do it for every friend every loved one 
I pray that you do it for even those who are distant fr from us, Father God. Distant in every city, in every nation, in every country, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Every destiny switch, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray mercy. I pray mercy, Lord God, for every star that was stolen, for every destiny that was robbed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you restore, you regenerate, you restore, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, a hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for every single person even in ignorance that have made mistakes, Lord, that have done things outside of the will of God and they have not even been aware of it. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for every spirit that we've operated under that was not a spirit of you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now that you bring us into the true knowledge of who you are. Your word says the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truths. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and your, your word says that you will not leave us in, in the darkness. We will not be deceived by the Satan's devices. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I pray against every Jezebel, every witch, every warlock, every person that has manipulated destinies, Father God, I pray they come into a heart of repentance, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you reveal to redeem, in the name of Jesus, that you reveal to redeem, in the name of Jesus, that you reveal to redeem, in the mighty name of Jesus, you only chastise those who you love, Father, you only whoop us because you want us to be in alignment with you, Father, you only chastise us because you want us to be correct. You want to realign us to righteousness. So, Lord, do what it is that you need for us to do. Lord, you did it for me, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And do a quick work by the mighty name of Jesus and the power that lives on the inside of us, Lord God. That we not operate with the form of godliness and deny the power that it is that you gave us, Lord, to live, to walk, to breathe according to your will and according to your way. Lord, we can do this. I just want to encourage somebody. We can do this. We can do this. We can live right. We can do this. Just as easy and just as simple as it is to, to live in sin and to YOLO, to, to do it. We can do this. We can do it, y'all. I'm telling you, we can pull on each other's strength. We can rely on one another to walk in the will and the purpose of God. We can do this. If we come together and we bind together, we can walk, we can live in purpose. Just as just as gung-ho and just as tight as we can ride to fall in the sand, y'all, we can ride together into righteousness, into the promised land. Let us not be swallowed up by the sea because it's, listen, Pharaoh's behind us. He's behind us and he's on our trail and we're crossing over. We're crossing over into the promised land and we don't have to wander in the wilderness any longer. We don't have to wander today. Today, the Holy Spirit showed me that we'll never be slaves again. Those of us who are, who are dedicated, who are saying, for God, I live and for God, I die. if I perish, let me perish. We will never, the days that we've seen, we will never see them again. Those enemies we saw today, we will see no more. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Handaboko rebebe bashanda la bando koramanti ala bashata. He kamando lebe sande lebe anshoko kona namanso rebe de rebe anshaya. E kapala bala bala bashe remantu kunde lebe asaya. In the mighty reboko si anamasha. E kamama mamanso rabata la basi andoroboko she aba. I don't normally speak in tongues. But the power in the blood of Jesus, I'm putting tongues on this. I'm putting tongues on this. I'm putting the blood of Jesus on this. I'm putting, I'm putting this tongue on it because the Lord, he's going to do it. Deliverance. If you are weak and feeble, because today I saw weak and feeble. Some, some of our bodies are being stricken with sickness and illness because we refuse to surrender. You are an Israelite. You are a chosen one of God. You are a chosen one of God. That's the reason why your body is racking with pain. That's the reason why you're going through what you're going through. Because God is trying to humble you. God is trying to say, turn away. Turn away while you still got the chance. I'm telling you. He kept showing me out of time, out of time, out of time. And I, Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Help me to fast. 
to get these demonic forces, to get these generational covenants off of me. Lord, help me turn down my plate in the name of Jesus. Do whatever it by any means necessary. And we do not have to fear. What can any enemy do to us? What can mere human flesh do to you? I'm telling you, you better rise up like a lion. Literally, ain't I'm not scared no more. Because if I mean my God today, I've been through the worst. And I'm still alive. And even if I die tomorrow, I'll die for him. I will die for the Lord. I don't got to die for men. I don't got to die. He died for us. He died for our sins. He died for us already. But what? who I will die for him. But what I won't do is sell my soul. What I won't do is surrender to the wickedness. What I won't do. And man can't do nothing to us. Why are you worried about turning your back on people who lead you to damnation? Why? I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm real. I'm, listen, y'all, This I'm passionate today. Normally, I'm up here and I try to be all gentle, but uh-uh. This violence right here, this violence. The enemy chose violence. So I'm going to choose it. I'm going to choose violence too. Let's go. Let's go. Period. Uh, period. Uh. Let's go. This what you want? Let's go. I'm choosing violence. Because the, the, take it by force. And I take back every single thing. I take my peace back. I take my peace of mind back. I take my rest back. I take back my, my uh, authority. I take back my wealth. I take back my kingdom spouse. I take back everything that the enemy stole or tried to steal from me. That he thought he removed from me. I take it back. I take yours back too. In the name of Jesus. All ain't lost. Turn away. Come to Christ. Because he'll make it all right. When I tell you today, every sing, the Lord showed me, he showed me uh, rebellion. Because he told me, I'm, I, I was so busy doing everything else. And I think, I feel like he showed me rebellion because he needed me to he showed me did all of this stuff days ago and when the holy spirit talks to me i write it down i write it down so i can show you i can screenshot and attach stuff that show you every single thing that i listen to today people of god have uh, confirmed it over and over again can't nobody sell you they don't own you Nobody owns you. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid to, to deny the lust of your flesh. Because it's not the normal. Everybody doing it, so why I'm not doing it? Because you not you not, you ain't supposed to. God ain't called you that way. That ain't what he said you could do. You wonder why everybody, you, you always try to do stuff and you get caught right then, right there. Your reaping come real quick. Because you chosen. God called you to be set apart. He called you to be different. You can't get away with nothing because you was called. You are chosen. You are chosen. And it's okay to be chosen. It's okay to be set apart. It don't make you better than nobody. If you feel like you alone, that's okay. That's all right. Jesus had to, you, you were born in this world alone, you're going to die alone. What's most important is that you're at peace with God, you're at peace with men, and you're at peace in yourself. Y'all, I done hollered on here tonight, didn't I? I'm sorry. That is just not me. It's not like me, y'all. But when I tell you over and over again, I praise God for prophetess. I'm not calling her name because ain't nobody finna attack her. I cover her in the blood of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. I appreciate you, prophetess. If you see this video, you will know exactly who I'm talking about. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for praying for us. And thank you for continuing on in the will of God. I thank God for all of God's children. We have suffered. We have gone through it. How dare anybody try to sell you because you don't want to be on the devil's team. I'm sorry, baby, but I'm never. I, it ain't nothing nobody can ever do. I don't care who it is. Mama, daddy, cousin, sister, friend. Ain't nothing nobody can ever do to make me say, I'm going to turn my back on God. I'm sorry. Because when I ain't have nothing, I had him. When I thought I was going to lose my mind, I knew when I called on his name, I felt his loving arms and his presence with me. When I thought I was going to have nothing, he provided for me. Listen, when generational curses had consumed me, when all of these people were attacking me, throwing arrows at me, mocking me, and I had to be quiet and act like I don't know what's going on when the Holy Spirit don't leave us the ignorance. I'm telling you from the biggest to the smallest, I, the Lord don't leave us ignorant and you know who you are. Every single one. The destiny swaps, all of the stuff, all of the stuff. I ain't never been blind. but I also know who God is and he's a vindicator. What vengeance should I take? He do it better. God is a vindicator. He does it better. When we trying to fight our own battles, he does it better. You fight in prayer. They say, where well, your God at now? Oh, you, he, he's strong and mighty, mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is this King of glory. He's our battle axe. Manse, O Kote, Amanda Labasha, Takanebio, Sonda Labaya, O Kola Mandi, Amansho, Kobo, Tolebe, and So, Ramamansha, Tayalaba. I love y'all so much. Oh, Jesus. God loves you better, best, and the absolute most. You could try to do anything. Separate yourself from a you could be strung out on drugs. You could be you could be an ex adulterer. You could be a fornicator prostitute. It don't matter what it is. It don't matter what it is. Nothing can separate you from the love of a true and living God. I love y'all so much. See y'all on the next video.